Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached as raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witnesses to God, because we testified against God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise if in fact the dead are not raised. If the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is in vain. You are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee, from their foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I, in justice, shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa. Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It is right to honor Jesus as the servant of all, for his purpose in life was not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Yet he also needed people to cooperate with him. He was at times dependent on the generosity of others. And St. Luke today actually gives the names of several women, Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Susanna, as well as many others, who traveled with Jesus and helped him in his work. They provided for him out of their own resources, and this enabled him to serve many others. It is not stated whether Jesus sent out these women to preach the gospel, but they surely played an active part in spreading his message. If even Jesus needed the service of others, we, his followers, certainly do too. We are called to serve and also called to welcome the service of others because we need them as much as they need us. Serving others calls for generosity. Letting ourselves be served calls for humility, recognizing that others can bring us to what we do not have within ourselves. Trusting in the goodness of our God, we now turn to him with these our prayers. That the hearts of all peoples and all nations may be tuned to the presence of God in the world, and that they may come to the knowledge of his Son, Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose special task it is to preach the gospel, that their own faith may be renewed as they show the way to others, and that they may be supported by the whole church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are single and live alone, that they may find companionship and Christian community with others, and so live full and fruitful lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may consider lives dedicated to the service of God and neighbor through ordained ministry and lives devoted to the mission of the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember Stephen Sobel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our parishioners who are confined to their homes due to age or illness, and for those who are in a nursing home or hospital, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all you give to us, and we ask you in your mercy to grant these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, 
and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies, so that its effects, and not our own desires, may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.